Hey folks, this is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today we're going to be reviewing a, uh, a comedic piece to me in the um, Thor Frog uh, by Sideshow Collectibles. Now, Thor's frog story is kind of one of a lot of sorrow, but he's selfless in a lot of ways. So in the end, he, uh, you know, he became something much more than he used to be. His real name is Simon Walterson. He's associated with the Pet Avengers, and uh, he's got uh, another. They also call him the Throg. Simon was a um, college football star that, once he got to the the big leagues, he suffered a terrible knee injury uh, that ended his career. But he didn't let that knock him down. You know, he got back up. He went into a lot of um, a lot of charity things and stuff like that. Um, but what happened was his wife. And his unborn child died. And how he became the frog, which is I'm sure what most of you guys are like curious, is he was seeking psychics and mystics and stuff to try to find a way to talk to the dead so he could talk to his wife one last time. And when he found somebody that he that would be able to do that, he talked to his wife, found that he had this unborn child that died with him. And uh well, the sorceress he couldn't pay her, so she turned him into this. Thor Fry. But that's not where the story ends. Uh, Thor met, uh, this frog met Thor during the uh, frog and rat wars. And uh, for some reason, I guess because of his selfish uh, nature and because, you know, the type of character that he was in human form as a, as a frog, for some reason he was able to lift up Thor's hammer. Uh, I can't pronounce it. I uh, was able to pick up the frog, uh, the hammer. Now, what happened was is that before Thor left, uh, the hammer was stepped upon by a uh, tooth gnasher, which is what pulls Thor's chariot. It's like this mystical goat type of character. And um, the sliver that was left on, when he picked it up, it turned into a, a mini hammer, and uh, he was, you know, given the power of Thor. So that's how he got to be this Thor frog. Now, this thing's about $100 on the internet. So worth it. Uh, let me see what number I got. Not like it matters. I got 599 of 1500 So I guess that's below the halfway mark. So I guess that's a nice low number. But um, the detail in this thing, he actually looks like a green tree frog. I mean, look at the eyes. It's actually painted like a real tree frog. Go to the pet store if you wish. If you don't believe me, take a look at it. It looks exactly like a green tree frog, your common tree frog, not like a Cuban tree frog or like a fire belly toad or anything else. Um, but it's a really cool amphibian. It has a fully sculpted cape. You know, it's real tiny, but it packs a lot of character into a little piece. Easy to display. You could put it on your desktop, for Christ's sakes. And it's got a lot of detail. The, um, the wings are a little flexible. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and freaking really bend it, but they've li got a little give to them so it doesn't break during shipping because you know that would be the first thing to go. Uh, the hammer's got a lot of detail in it, a lot of wear on it. And the, the base is the best because it has um, pieces of uh, mushrooms, it has moss on it, it has a real long uh, trunk from a tree, like he's a real frog. I mean, it has so much detail in it, it looks like a real frog, and I was so impressed by that. You know, it's got a lot of character in such a small package. So if you want something that's easy to display yet looks really cool, I, you know, I suggest you get this because it's, it's not even expensive. So if by SciShow standard, this is like a bargain. Totally worth getting. So that's going to be it today, folks. Uh, this is Longshot, <laughs> Longshot1982. Please uh, sub me and please comment. I would love for you to tell me what you think of this piece. I think it's amazing and so much fun. Thank you.